Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. Now, uh, someone asked me uh, how to connect a three-phase phase failure in a dose, uh, dull starter circuit. Okay? Now, we've done dull starter. Link in the description. So, understanding circuits is really important, but mostly understanding how these devices work and what you want to achieve okay now this guy i have here let's see uh this is uh, a phase failure uh you see it has three contacts here okay so these three contacts uh you have 15 which is close to 16 15 open to 18 okay that's what happens now you have the the operation here so you have your three phase l1 l2 l3 which are supposed to be in now in case one of those phases is either higher or under voltage uh you know it will drop the circuit okay so basically we've done that now we want to know how to you know connect it okay so let's go ahead and uh do this okay now First thing first, uh, you have your circuit, okay? So, you have your circuit. Okay? And you have your N right there. So this is A1, this is A2, you have this is H, this is start, this is stop. Okay? Now, we have this guy here. And this guy looks like this. The contacts. Okay? So, you have... This is 18, this is 16, this is 15, okay? And we know that 15, 16 is normally uh, closed, 15, 18 is normally open. This is what you're seeing here, okay? So, this one you can connect it before or after the overload, it doesn't matter. Be, anyway it can drop the circuit in case it ha it has to okay now because we want uh when there is a problem the circuit to break so that means that if when everything is okay if you feed here all the phases the phase failure will get energized and it will close this circuit here uh, this contact here okay and our circuit will be live the moment any problems arise, that's when it will, you know, switch off the, the circuit, okay? And it will drop here, open this, and then, you know, uh, the circuit goes off. So, it is always in series, okay? So, you have maybe your, your overload here, if you have to. So, you have 96 and the... 95 contacts on the overload and okay so this now our l you see our l our l l contacts you remember you have l so we'll come here like that and then we have our n here just in case your control is a single phase okay 
Okay? So, this is it. Uh, here, this. This one here is your phase monitor, okay? The contacts that we have, you know, uh, shown here, okay? The three contacts. So, your live wire will go through number 15. Number 15 will be common, okay? And now, out on number 18, then through the overload to your control circuit, okay? So, how easy is that? Okay? Uh, that's uh, something that you can, you know, grab and do that. The most important thing when you're dealing with uh, circuits is to understand what you want to achieve and also to understand the function of that device that you want to integrate and or what you want really to protect. Okay? Yes, uh, those are the number of things that will help you to understand and uh, how to integrate some of these stuff inside your circuit, okay? So, uh, I thank you for that question, and uh, I thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, my name is David. Feel free to subscribe, to like, and share. Uh, and this video is done. Until next time, I'm out.